Imagine you are a 22 year old self taught chemist who learned stuff on your old job, but now you have been fired with no experience, no degree, and no hope, but with huge bills to fulfill. That is the kind of life Robert Augustus Chisbra was going through before he discovered a life changing revolutionary formula for the Vaseline you have been using since you were a baby. What you doing, Dad? Got chapped lips out on the boat. Vaseline petroleum jelly helps take the sting out. No one believed in him, but he turned a nasty oily drool into a cream everyone in the world uses today. This is the story of how Vaseline was created. Robert Augustus Chisbra was a 22-year-old British young man working in a petroleum company refining oil to make kerosene uh, an everyday necessity for every household. But things started going crazy when a new and cheaper option was discovered, petroleum fuel. This brought in a lot of competition that made companies start laying off employees and in the process, Robert was also fired. Devastated, broke and worried, he stood up and promised never to give up. So instead of fighting the competition, he decided to join in. In 1959, Chisbra, a young man who had been fired from making oil out of sperm wells, was eager to learn what other products could be made from petroleum. So he traveled to Titusville, a small Pennsylvania town. He visited the oil drillers and after talking to one of them, he reached out to shake a hand only to be shocked that for an outdoor worker operating in harsh conditions outside, he had incredibly soft hands. And before before he could even ask him, he saw another worker applying a black drill product to his wound. So he was intrigued to ask. They told him that this waxy substance was, was called road wax collected from oil, which helped them heal from wounds they sustained out there working. Immediately, Chase Bra knew that this is the opportunity he had been looking for. Something new and helpful, so he quickly asked his employees if he could take a sample, but instead, they did something even better. They gave him buckets of byproducts they were just going to throw away. And that is how he began his quest to help heal America's dry skin. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. That is the only way you will stay updated about our latest research and deep findings like this one. After five years of drowning in his lab samples, mixing chemicals and trying to figure out the chemical base of this product, Robert perfected his extracting technique and in 1965, he patented this process to making petroleum jelly. The beginning of a triple purification process unique the Vaseline brand, but it was nothing close to being perfect. Chisbra spent over a decade perfecting his extractions and purification process before introducing his wonder jelly to the American public on the larger scale. Confident that this product would appeal to the, to the medical industry after seeing firsthand how safe and pure it was for many different users. Robert opened a factory in Brooklyn, New York in 1870 and at the same time, he traveled around the state of New York in a horse and cart spreading the word about his miracle product by demonstrating on himself, burning his skin with acid and an open flame and then spreading the clear jelly on his injury, showing at the same time past injuries that he healed with the aid of his protective jelly. Though Wonder Jelly had a nice ring to it, two years later in 1872, Chase Bra registered the jelly as Vaseline, which is believed to be derived from a combination of German word for water called Wasa and a Greek word for oil called Oleon. The two words combined, they formed the word Vaseline. The new name appeared to work and by 1874, only two years after its invention, a brand Vaseline was being sold across the US at the rate of a jar and a minute. That's over 1,400 jars a day. So intrigued by the many uses of Vaseline, in 1880, people began to discover the many safe and diverse uses of pure Vaseline jelly. And soon, it was in almost every medicine cabinet in America. New mothers used it for their babies, diaper rash, while professionals working in extreme cold weather used it to relieve dry skin and chapped skin. With success comes imitation. Imitation petroleum jellies began popping up across the US and to ensure that customers were using only the best and most purified jelly, Robert Chisbra launched the iconic Blue Seal to mark authentic and original products. Today, the Blue Seal remains on all Vaseline moisturizing products. This certifies that every jet tin or container is purified not once, but three times before it ever reaches the shelf of your store.
The highest honor that the British monarch can bestow on a subject is a knighthood. Queen Victoria, who ruled over a quarter of the world's population, not only decided that Chisbrough was worthy of an honor, but also told the innovative chemist that she too was a fan of his versatile and transformative product and used his jelly to help heal her dry skin, which helped a lot. Chisbra Manufacturing Company was acquired by Unilever in 1987, a multinational consumer goods company that specialized in the production and distribution of personal care products like food and home care products. The acquisition of Vaseline helped to expand Unilever's portfolio, hence the brand Vaseline growing even much wider. During the First World War, Vaseline jelly brought relief to US soldiers in the trenches by treating cuts and bruises and to ease sunburn. Medical officers reported carrying tubes of Vaseline jelly with them to treat minor cuts or burns on their patients. Vaseline jelly was in such high demand that many young men would ride home from the front asking their families to send more and more. It was even used as a battering tool for the British soldiers. Even in 1943 World War, the Surgeon General of the US military went as far as commissioning a sterile Vaseline jelly coated gauze to send to the front. The gauze worked so well in safely helping whole soldiers that the New York Times even ran a story at the time saying that 75 serious burn victims had survived recovering with the help of the Vaseline jelly. This made the jelly so wild that it even spread much, much further. Sir Robert Chisbra passed away at the age of 96. That's 25 years longer than the average life expectancy of 61.7 years in the US at that time. He believed so much in his product that he ate a spoon of it every day until his death at his house in Spring Lake, New Jersey. Even though no cause of death was put in public records, many people believe that that was what killed him. Now, in the present day, Vaseline brand still exists and is still being used widely even though it is facing a challenge of consumer shifting towards natural and organic products. However, Unilever is trying to adapt to this trend by introducing new products that are free from parabens, flutters and dyes. The brand is also investing in sustaining packaging and responsible sources of raw materials. In the future, the brand will continue to innovate and evolve to meet the changing of the consumers while staying true to its heritage as a trusted provider of effective personal care products and skin healing unique brand. The brand continues to focus on research and development to improve the effectiveness of its products and offer a wider range of options that cater to different consumer needs.